So I was very, very excited in the last World Tournament when I managed to pull this guy right here, the Armor Super Saiyan Goku. Now, of course, my JP account really is not that old, only clocking in at a little bit over a year old now. So there's a lot of old World Tournaments I did not have a chance to participate in, and there's still a lot of World Tournament War cards I don't have. Uh, this was the only new card I pulled from that banner in the last World Tournament, but it did turn out to be a very... Uh, fruitful one because this Super Saiyan armor Goku is actually a unit on the optimal Super Saiyan 3 team. The reason is just how massively he supports LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who is essentially the hardest hitter in the game. So let's go ahead and Dokkan Awaken this guy. I'll train him up and then we'll hop into an event using the optimal Super Saiyan 3 category team. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and hop into the event uh, just like this. This, of course, would be the optimal Super Saiyan 3 category team. Uh, I believe what you do is you have a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on one rotation with a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And then I believe you have another Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on rotation with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then you have uh, Angel Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You have the Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku as well as the Armor Super Saiyan Goku as your floaters. Now, real quick, the reason Armor Super Saiyan Goku is so good for the team and so good for Bardock is because his passive, he gives tech and int types 2 key and 25%. So he's going to be buffing both Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as well as uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And he also does share several links with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku such as Kamehameha, Shattering Limit, and Super Saiyan. So he works very, 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 very well uh, on the Super Saiyan 3 category team, despite the fact that he's not even technically, you know, a Super Saiyan 3 category unit. But he does get buffs from the leader skill because Super Saiyan 3 Bardock also gives uh, a buff to, I believe it's Super Int types, right? Uh, let me actually just, I want to just confirm that real quick that it's, uh, super int that he gives a buff to and not uh, like normal int. I'm 99% sure that it's super int, but uh, I do like to fact check those things if I'm not 100% certain. Uh, okay, so let's see. Bardock gives it to, yeah, super int, uh, 90%. Which again, it's not really that big of a deal that Goku doesn't get it, uh, considering he is a support type unit anyway. All right, so we'll have a super attack with him uh, real quick at the start. Uh, and then, boom, there we go. So notice how LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he's already at 13 key. So he's only going to need 5 key right here, which we easily could get. Boom, he's got his 18 key super. And thus, Frieza is donezo. So let's see what Super Saiyan Goku is. just a normal Kamehameha, of course. Uh, after this, I will push him uh, off rotation, though. Because, again, hmm, I, I always have this problem where when i show off support type units in a video like i do a showcase of them like people kind of lose sight of the fact that the reason this super saiyan goku is so good is this right here he dramatically increases the amount of damage that lr super saiyan 3 goku is going to do so sometimes it is very hard to quantify uh the value of support type units if you're not really too sure what to look out for or, you know, if they're not, like, just straight up giving a ton of key. But uh, the Super Saiyan Goku, he is giving four key to LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is phenomenal. You know, you look at Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, he gives three key to LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So th there is a lot of uh, areas where a lot of these units are going to work uh, very efficiently for this team. Now, oof, boy. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3, listen... <laughs> I feel like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is kind of like, he's not talked about often as like the <laughs> one of the best units in the game, but he really is one of the best units in the game. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, he's able to provide so much. Uh, so I will keep Super Saiyan Goku right here for one more turn, uh, just because I do want to get to a, a point where we get those optimal rotations sort of sorted out. Uh, I'll push Gotenks onto the other rotation with the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. 
and then get the other Super Saiyan 3 Bardock here with um, uh, the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, now, Super Saiyan Armor Goku, he's not going to buff uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. But as you guys can see, it, you know, for the most part, it's going to be irrelevant because uh, with the Super Saiyan 3 category team working like this, usually uh, you are going to be killing anything that moves within those first two attacks because Bardock and you know Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on the other end, they just deal way, way too much damage. They're just incredibly powerful units. This, this right here, this is a good video for showing why people really slurp the Super Saiyan 3 team too. Like, like it routinely is, <laughs> you know, just sucked off as like a godly team. The only thing about this team is defensively, it is pretty squishy because LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku does lower his defense by a substantial amount after he gets his 18 key super, which of course is what you're going for. Uh, and then Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, he does. He gets a 100% defensive buff, which is good enough, but he doesn't get it until he super attacks. So if you put Bardock in the first slot, he can really get crushed uh, by uh, any sort of very powerful boss type unit. Like if Golden Frieza was going before Bardock here, Bardock could take like absolutely massive damage. Uh, but here, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he is going to finish this off. We quickly breeze through this event. Uh, <laughs> this team is very, very powerful. And uh, this level of event right here, where Frieza is just consistently teched the whole way through, it's just not a hard enough event to uh, put a dent into the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Funny enough, uh, an event like Physical Omega is just much, much harder. But look at this, okay? Goku just crit for 3.5 million on Golden Freezer right there. Keep in mind, guys, that big top-tier Dokkan event bosses have massive damage reduction on them. So you usually do not see damage numbers like this. Again, a large por portion of this damage, I don't I don't know how like exactly how much to say, but a lot of this is helped out by Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku because again, that Kamehameha link, 2500 attack plus the 25% uh, attack from his passive and then the extra key he gives just makes it so that LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is really able to smoothly put enemies in their place. Again, I feel like we, we I did a good job of showing why the Super Saiyan Goku is pretty solid. Uh, he is also in the pure Saiyan category team. You could probably build that team in a way where this Goku could be pretty good over there. Uh, even if you want to, like, you know, run the team around LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the Pure Saiyan category team, which I usually don't recommend. Uh, I don't usually run LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the Pure Saiyan category team uh, because Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, you know, you're going to have a double leader of him, and he's a prepare for battle type unit. It would be very helpful uh, if they released a Pure Saiyan leader who was an over and a flash unit. That would be so good. Because then you could build the team any way you want. You want to go for like a prepare for battle build. Or you want to go for like an over and a flash build. They got to start doing that with some of these categories. That I think will make a lot of these teams so much more fun to use. Uh, Alright, so looking at the Goku. This is training and discovery Super Saiyan Goku. His leader skill is AGL, tech, and int. Key 2 and HP attack and defense 30%. Uh, so uh, the stats are too low I think to be helpful in Dokkan Battlefield as a sub leader skill. His super attack is the Kamehameha, which does supreme damage and raises attack for six turns. Could be useful to eke out a little bit extra damage, but considering uh, this Goku does count as a free-to-play unit, only getting 3,000 to all stats in the dupe system, uh, it's not like he's going to output massive damage anyway. His passive skill is Super Power Mastery, which is tech and int types 2 key and attack and defense 25%. Again, Tech and Int are the two perfect typings here because you're going to hit LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Tech Angel Goku, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Maybe if you run him Super Saiyan 3 Gohan on JP, is a very powerful unit who could work well on this team. Uh, he doesn't hit Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks, but that's okay because you're hitting basically the, the entire rest of the team. 
So it does work out that he only gives it to Tech and Int. Doesn't really uh, prevent him from being, you know, incredibly useful on the team. His links are Z Fighters, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, and Shattering Limit. So again, he has a really good link set for supporting LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku with Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Shattering Limit. I mean, Super Saiyan is a link that like all the other Super Saiyan 3 cards have, so that one's really not that important. But Kamehameha is important because I don't know of another... Most Super Saiyan 3 category units don't have that. Like, you have LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku has it. Uh, the AGL GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku has it. The new Transforming Goku has it, but I would not run him on the Super Saiyan 3 team. Uh, the JP exclusive Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has got it. See, just kind of a, a couple units you're probably not really going to be using. Well, I guess uh, the STR Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Kid Goku, he does also have Kamehameha. But, you know, that it. one thing people do forget is that LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku has Kamehameha, even though his 18 key is the Dragon Fist. His 12 key super is just the instant transmission Kamehameha. That's why he has that attack link. Uh, so this is Goku. His 12 key multiplier is 135%, which is, eh. I mean, he's a support type unit. It's not really a big deal. And then he has the one category, which is the pure Saiyan category. Eventually, they're going to get a Cell or Android category in here. And then at that point, uh, this Goku could get another category. I really, really, really am looking forward to when they would add the Saiyan Saga as well as the Android, you know, the Trunks Android Cell Saga uh, into the game. Like, those two categories, I'm very interested to see how they would work, uh, who they would make category leaders for those teams. See, like, what do you do for an, an Android or Cell category leader? I mean, you certainly don't go, you know, you can't go Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because, like, if it's just a, an actual Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, you can't use LR... Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I, I think the best case scenario would be a Super Saiyan 1 Gohan who has a transformation mechanic and a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan as the Android or Cell category leader. That would work out best because then you could use LR Gohan. You could still use LR Cell. Uh, you could use Tech Cell. Like there's still a lot of good units you'd be able to work with. Uh, so I, I do hope that's the route they eventually go with uh, for the Android category team. But all right, that will go ahead and finish it up for today. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.